Now, police in Scotland are investigating allegations that two of their own officers were involved in a child abuse ring in Glasgow. It follows testimony given to Sky News by one victim who says she recognised an officer who sexually abused her. She says he was the same man who sometimes picked her up and took her home after she went missing. Data examined by Sky News also shows a huge gulf between the number of children referred for help as victims of modern slavery compared to the number of attempted prosecutions for the crime. Now, the following report by our home editor, Jason Farrell, does contain distressing details about child grooming. I was about 12, 13. It was just one day he was like, I need you to do something for me. And, well, you don't really have a choice in it. Tony Louise has waived her anonymity to tell how she was a child victim of modern slavery. She was groomed, sold for sex, and claims the men who paid to rape her even included police officers. It started when a man she thought was her boyfriend asked her to have sex with another man. I was kind of like, I don't, I don't really want to do this. And he was like, well, it's too late now. Like, I've, I've already told him that you're going to do it. And that was the first time that I was sold for money for, off him. So he sold you for sex? Mm -hmm. At first, it was only like once or twice a week that I would have to leave school. And then it got to like every day, it got to the point where I wasn't even making it up to school. He was picking me up at the end of Mumham Street. 20 years ago, the charity Bernardo's first suggested around 100 children were being sold for sex in Glasgow. Over the years, concerns have resurfaced, especially around the area of Govan Hill. When we began investigating three years ago, a local sex worker told us she'd seen a child being sold for sex in one of Glasgow's poorest suburbs. She looked about 13, 14, if that, if that. Yeah. She was very thin, very small, but she, you, I could see that she was definitely working, you know, she was walking around and looking around. I said, are you working? And this man came out from absolutely nowhere, absolutely yeah. nowhere, and, and said, she's, she's fine, is there a problem? And I said, no, just wonder if she's working. She said, she's fine. I said, are you with her then? I said, yeah, here's you see her, I'm her uncle. For boys, modern slavery mostly involves criminal exploitation, such as selling drugs. With girls, most often it's sexual exploitation. Sky News analysis of data in Scotland found 349 children have been given a reasonable grounds decision under the national referral mechanism as being victims of modern slavery. Yet data from the last five years shows only eight attempted prosecutions and not one conviction. We spoke to one woman who didn't want to be identified who claimed she'd been groomed from the age of eight by a shopkeeper. They were giving me drink at a young age and fags. Cigarettes and then... So he was grooming you? Well, yeah, aye. How far would the abuse go then? He touched my breast and then it went from that to the next extreme. Aged 15, she had a drug addiction and was regularly exploited, sometimes by groups of men. All these guys came in and I was like, what is happening? One thing led to another and they were all gang raping me. I didn't think I was getting out of there alive. Is this the, this is the street where you jumped out the window? The street we drove down where Anne-Marie says she was gang raped is the same street where Tony Louise says she was abused in what is now an abandoned housing block. She says she was sold to up to 30 men a day, men from all walks of life. Among them, she claims, were two police officers. Do you know for sure that you were raped by police officers? Yes, 100%. How do you know that? Because some of them were the ones that took me home when I'd been reported missing. So I seen them in their uniform. You are kidding me? No. Nope. They knew where I was the whole time. So the people taking you home in the police car? Had had sex with me when I was underage. She says one officer abused her several times over six months. Did he try and pretend it hadn't happened? I think it's... work mode is different to... I'm going to rape a child mode. Like, it was never acknowledged. Tony Louise eventually escaped her situation. She didn't report the police officers for fear it wouldn't be believed, but alleged crimes against her logged by the police include 29 rapes. There was an investigation, but despite one charge, it didn't reach court. 
when I went to the police, one of the police officers turned around to me and went, you've got a very active imagination for a wee girl, haven't you? Tony Louise has now reported the alleged incidents involving police and in a statement Police Scotland said a new report of child exploitation involving police officers from 2014 was received by Police Scotland on the 9th of May 2022. This report is now being investigated by specialist officers from our National Sexual Crimes Unit and we are unable to comment further at this stage. It's hard to get a handle on the scale of this, but we've spoken to a number of grassroots charities who say it is a problem, and one who said off the record that organised child sexual abuse was a hidden pandemic across the central belt of Scotland. Police Scotland told us they wanted to reassure anyone who's been a victim of sexual assault that time is no bar to reporting, and all allegations will be fully investigated regardless of the identity of the perpetrator. Jason Farrell, Sky News, Glasgow.